Good afternoon, everyone. Well, Liverpool have done it. Have finally done it. Thiago Alcantara is finally on his way to Anfield. Let's do this. Hello everyone, welcome to LFC Rest Forever channel. As you are probably aware, we've got a agreement with Bayern Munich for, guess who? Thiago Alcantara, the player we've been wanting for a while now. And um, it looks like he's coming, it looks like he's coming people. I've said it before as well, like I was thinking in, in the previous uh, video when I was saying uh, about if other teams are getting knocked back for his signature, he must be going somewhere. So we must have been negotiating with Bayern Munich for a while now, just to get the right price. So the value for him is 20 million plus 5 million um, add-ons. So uh, obviously upcoming uh, games and years. Am I excited? Hell yeah. I might not be looking like I've been jumping over the roof or something like that but i am really excited this is the player i've been saying we wanted for a while ever since the fakir deal broke down i think we've been searching for a player that's actually going to be different to what we got in midfield i think that season we lost uh, the league by one point if we had fakir he could have been the difference uh, to our attack as well as well as our creative side as well but listen the season after, obviously last season we won the league, can't be greedy all the time. We finally uh, put down the 30 years that we've been waiting for. And now we're moving up with players as well. I said if we get this player, we're more likely to win the title again. Expect the 20 people, expect the 20 this season, this coming, or this season has already started. So I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy. I'm over the moon. Um... He's a dominant midfielder. He could be a defensive midfielder as well as creative midfielder, set piece specialist. Uh, you see, he's a top five midfielders in the world. He's in his prime as well. Um, he recovered from some injuries recently, I've heard. But listen, as long as we can keep him fit on the team, and we like, um, if you think about our team, we've got three hard working midfielders two that close down defenders, one sits in the middle and uh, he can do that as well but the more things he can do is the creative side of it so basically we've got different to what we've got already and i've been searching for this for years now, and uh, uh, we've finally got it over the line hopefully soon it's obviously still under uh, negotiations but when paul joyce uh, the local press actually announces something's happening i believe everything they say so listen, twenty million plus five million pounds add-ons, and he's twenty-nine. You can't, you can't really argue. That's in his prime. He's got another two, three years left, uh, maybe more. He could be the one that's doing the Milner's job in the future, like um, you know, getting the youngsters through, like Curtis Jones and uh, Harvey Elliott and so on. I'm excited, and I just hope that he stays fit and dominates that midfield like we expect him to and teaches the youngsters like what to do with the ball when you got it and uh, luckily for him he's obviously Spanish is international but don't forget he's a uh, descendant of uh, Brazil so he's got Brazilian dad Brazilian brother they might play for Spain but still they are Brazilians no matter what, what, what we think of them um, and uh, we've got a lot of Brazilians in the team like Alisson, Fabinho and uh, Firmino so he'll be feel, he'll feel like right at home there will be no issues uh, and obviously working on the club it must be a bonus for him as well I think he said he's been wanting to work for uh, with him for a while and you can't really argue with that I'm so fucking happy man. I'm sorry about the language but I'm happy I've been uh, I, I was worried like we're going to sign anyone you know, this season you know the way FSG go, they go on and on and on and on and they don't end up buying anyone at the end. Like, we can't have, what is it, two seasons of that, not buying anyone. I mean, we bought, obviously, Minimino during the winter, but uh, is he a dynamic player that's going to make a lot of difference? No, 
Let's just be honest. No. We brought another left back as Costas, but he's a cover for um, Robertson. So this is a marker for the season, people. Uh, expect the 20 this season and uh, Thiago Alcantara is going to make a difference in our, in our midfield. You mark my words. He's going to make a lot of difference in our midfield. Please, people, like, share and subscribe. And put your comments uh, below. Uh, just discuss what's going on. Like, What do you think of Thiago? What is he going to bring? Uh, is he going to bring the the quality that we needed for a while in the middle? Is it going to be the difference between us winning the league or not? Please, like, share, subscribe. 